How is it going guys? It's Kevin from Subi Speed. It is Two Minute Tuesday and today we're going over how a clutch works. One of the most important parts in our cars is the clutch. It's what transfers the power from the engine to the transmission. So it's nice to have a good understanding of how they work. So let's put two minutes on the clock and knock this out. Most clutches basically have three main components. You've got the flywheel, the clutch disc, and the pressure plate. Obviously, there's gonna be a handful of other components that are tied in with these, but we may get into those later. We're gonna start off first with the flywheel. This is essentially an energy uh, storage device for the engine to keep it running smoothly and to keep it running and maintain that energy when you are off the gas or you are in neutral. So that means the flywheel is directly connected to the engine through the crankshaft. So when your engine is on, this is constantly spinning. And this is the surface right here where the clutch disc makes contact with the flywheel. Now, when we take a look at upgraded flywheels, you're gonna see lightweight flywheels that obviously weigh less. And because they're lighter, they take less energy to rotate. And they can also have better heat dissipation to help improve the life of your clutch disc, which is what we're talking about next. The clutch disc is what connects to your input shaft of the transmission and it has this high friction material on it. So when it's pressed up against the flywheel, it transfers the power to the transmission, therefore spinning the wheels. On most clutch discs, you're gonna see these coil springs here that help dampen and smooth out any vibrations to improve the drivability of the car. But with a more race-oriented clutch disc, you're not gonna see those and it's gonna be more of a solid or rigid setup to get rid of any power loss that's caused by those springs. Now, as a result of that, it is going to be quite a bit more harsh. There are a wide variety of different clutch discs you can choose from with different friction materials ranging from organic, ceramic to Kevlar or ceramic, which you really want to take some, take your time and choose wisely because it is a direct impact on how the car drives and how it performs. Obviously, you don't want to go out and get a full raised clutch if you only just daily drive the car and vice versa. Lastly, we have the pressure plate. This is also a key component because this is what presses the clutch disc to the flywheel to help transfer the power. So we've got a diaphragm spring here in the middle that is connected to the cover, which bolts to the flywheel. Now, when you are off of the clutch pedal, this is going to apply constant pressure to basically pinch the clutch, the clutch disc in between itself and the flywheel to transfer the power to the transmission. When you press the clutch pedal in, the clutch fork presses the throw-up bearing into the fingers of the diaphragm spring here, releasing the clutch disc and disengaging that power transfer, allowing you to change gears. Now, when you upgrade to a more aggressive clutch, you may also need more clamping power from your pressure plate, which is going to change the way your clutch pedal feels. And that is basically how a clutch works. Now, there are a couple things to keep in mind when you're upgrading your clutch. If you're going with something uh, a bit more aggressive, just remember that it can affect the drivability of your car. The clutch pedal may become a lot harder to press and it can be a lot more harsh. You also want to look into upgrading your clutch fork and pivot as those can become points of failure when you start adding parts that require more pressure. We've got a ton of different clutches to choose from on our website. I'll link, I'll link a few below with recommendations on what sort of driving I recommend them for. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. That is this week's Two Minute Tuesday, and I will see you guys next time.